red dress on with my cool blue and white toms and I'm all set to go for the holiday and I made these cool red clearish white and blue popsicles and you're gonna learn how. So this recipe makes 12 popsicles and I have my little cool thing that I got on Amazon.com. So the first uh, ingredient is two cups of frozen strawberries or and or raspberries, however you want to mix it up. And I got frozen ones and then they're just basically almost all the way thawed out. And then I'm going to add a little dash of lemonade. That was a generous dash. That's probably more than you want to put in, but a little dash. And then I'm going to blend these babies up so they're smooth. Oh, this thing's so cool. I got this on, on like one of those TV commercial things uh, where they're like, buy this and you'll get free shipping and handling. And I actually got one of those things. It's the magic bullet and I love it. All right. My strawberry raspberry mix is pureed. And then I'm going to put this back into the my measuring cup because it has a little, um, whatchamacallit, serving, what would be the word of that? A little lip. You can go into, the, into these little things. You're going to fill each of them a third of the way up. All right. I'm going to pop these in the, I almost said microwave, in the freezer for 30 minutes. And then we're going to come back and do the next layer. they see my freezer? My popsicles have been in the freezer for 30 minutes, just enough time for me to have a chips and guac little break. And now we're going to put the lemonade layer in. And oh, word to the wise. So when you fill up a liquid into the container, like a liquid strawberry puree, and then you pop it in the freezer, as it turns out, frozen things expand. So these are generous sized layers, so they may be slightly uneven, but you know, we'll roll with it. We'll see what happens. So I'm just doing less than a third of lemonade. And now I'm going to pop these guys in for an hour and a half. Now look. My popsicles are out of the freezer, and now it's time for the third and final layer. So this is three cups of blueberries. Which I'm going to do in two. Whoa, daddy! No, no, daddy. No, daddy. I'll get that later. So, same idea. Um, you put your blueberries in and then a little splash of lemonade. This so time I'm actually going to do a splash. And then we'll blend this guy up. A wee bit more lemonade. All right, I added my extra blueberries in here once I got it down a little bit. And because I put so much lemonade in the strawberry raspberry one, um, I think I'm gonna have huge red layers and a lot of extra blueberry sauce. A little treat for the cameraman. Now we're just filling them up almost to the brim. Lovely. Now we're sticking our sticks in. And the trick is you're digging down to the pink stuff. So you go all the way in. It shouldn't be that difficult. See? Boop. And the reason you froze them so much before is just so that if you put it in when it was soft, your popsicle stick would be like, to the side and look all crazy funky. So now they look cute. Okay, my popsicle sticks are in and now these guys are going in the freezer for four hours and then we're gonna have our Fourth of July Freedom Fighter Popsicles. My popsicles have been in the freezer for four hours and they are done. Moment of truth. By the way, I ran these under hot water so they'd come out because otherwise I was like, couldn't get it out. Look at that, it's so cute, and let's see if it's tasty. We have a winner! Woohoo! Happy 4th of July, guys!